Whenever you go into a pro shop to buy a new club, you always get the same answer. Yes, it's going to be better for you. Yes, it's going to be longer for you. And then you say, well, that's fine, but can I at least try it first? And generally, the pro will say, yeah, of course you can try it. But just stick some tape on it first. This is our magic tape because our members generally say, as soon as the tape comes off, it's lost its magic. Is it true or is it a myth? Let's do it. And let's do it now. If there's a car park over there, we'll be paying an absolute fortune out. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, first things first, I hope you're all incredibly well, I hope you're incredibly safe, and I hope you're all really, really enjoying your golf and being out in the fresh air. Guys, in today's video, we're doing a video on the magic tape. You see, whenever people try new golf clubs, don't get me wrong, I've seen videos with tape on, well, I haven't seen them, but I've seen of them with tape on clubs before. I've got no idea what happens, but generally when people then come back after a few rounds with the club, they say the magic seems to have worn off. They say it doesn't quite work the same. It's got a little bit more side spin on it. It just doesn't quite go as far. We're gonna test that today. And this is the tape that we use here at Huddersfield Golf Club. So as you can see, it's not exactly parcel tape. It's definitely not just seller tape. And it's actually really, really, I mean, if I pull this away now, really thick. It's so hard to pull out. So is that gonna affect how the club performs when you demo it, when you try it? I guess there's only really one way to find out. I've got no idea who makes this as well. If I look inside, it doesn't give me many answers. Four pillars. That's not a plug, it just, that's what it is. Four pillars in there. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna hit a load of shots just with the normal driver. Then we're gonna, hopefully the ball stays on the tee. Then we're gonna hit some shots with the tape on the driver. Then we're gonna go non-tape again, then tape again. We're gonna make it as fair test as we possibly can. And we're gonna look at every little detail and see just how much difference this makes to this. Guys, hit those comments below. And I'll just ask you about distances because that's generally what people moan about the most. They say that it's not going as far. It's definitely not going as far. They might forget that it's kind of a colder day than when they tested the club. They might forget that it's a 10 mile an hour wind into on that same hole when you tested the club. And I'm not name dropping here. There's no members here that I have had this conversation with in particular, apart from a lot of them. So we're going to put it to the test. So guys, how much difference is the tape going to make to the distance? You would think with it being such thick cushiony tape, it would make a bit of a difference to the ball speed, but actually you'd think it'd be a bit of a negative, but right, no tape. A decent effort to start with. That is my general four left shout. As you can see, it has carried 275. It's running a little bit further. Lovely low spin on there as well at 1679. And to make this test as fair as possible, I am definitely using castle tees. I'm using the orange castle tee. We're just going to try and smash these out the park, hit them all as hard as we possibly can. Left again, is it? 275 carry again. How's your consistency? That is left again though. Four left! Again, I think if, if I hit him once, I've hit him twice there, because they're exactly the same place. Where's the ball gone? I'll tell you what, it would be nice if the tape would maybe even straighten me up a little bit. I don't play in competitions, so I should be all right. So that tee went straight in the bag then. Yes, I should be. All right, so that tee went straight in the bag then. Would be all right to just game it normally with a bit of tape on. Ah! That wasn't a very good one. Definitely need to start practicing a little bit more. Right, two more, then we'll put some tape on. That's hit hard again. Very consistent with distance and, you know what, I just need to aim right, don't I? I mean, look at where they've finished. That's like you could put a blanket over those. Or maybe I just need to learn how to hit it straight and maybe play. I'm not gonna change the shot now. I have been trying to play a fade out on the course. I'm not going to do that now because it'll just change all the numbers and tamper with them. So we'll carry on as is. That's exactly the same. <laughs> oh dear. Four left again. They've gone now anyway. Right. So this really takes me back to my pro shop days. Um, and generally what we do, we cover it with tape top to bottom. And I mean, in case people sky it and things, I probably should do that with me with these orange tees actually. But... I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cover the face up and then cut round it because that's all we're really... I mean, you could actually argue that will it affect... 
Will it affect the aerodynamics if it covers the holes up? It potentially could, but... There we go. I didn't speak through that because I actually had the scissors in my mouth and it's hard to do this with a camera in only two hands, but we'll cut that away now. All the excess. Oh, no, don't do that. And then, and then we'll slide that over there, make it nice and streamline-ish, kind of, not really. And a bit more excess there. We'll cut round here. I'll give it a little bit more, as you can see. I remember doing this like so often in the pro shop at Tankersley in here. And again, we'll just get it. We'll just get, I mean, should I double bag it? Should I double layer it? I think that should be enough. I mean, no one's, I mean, no one's now scratching that face, are they? Surely not. See, for me now, that's so cushiony. I would think that will slow the ball down, but I, I'm, I don't know. Be interesting, this. It will be interesting, this. And like, the interesting thing was actually, it sometimes used to make it even worse because if you got mud in there or a tiny bit of dirt, it'd just be a nightmare and it'd scratch the club anyway. And we, we had that a few times, pro shop stories. Right, looking down, it looks no different, obviously because I've only covered the face up. Right, five of your best. I mean, it's another one that's gone left. <sighs> Nothing's helping that. Nailed that. Nailed that, and it's a little bit shorter carry, actually. Five yards shorter, lower spin. You can see, you can see where that was hit. One thing that this does give you is more feedback on where you've hit it. Interestingly, a lower launch as well. So there's that. Still moving right to left. I mean, we're not going to change that, are we? Not today now, but... Nailed. Nailed, 275, exactly the same. A little bit lower, I think. It's, it's still... It, I hope there's no people over there. Like, if there was another tee over there, and we're doing this outside, or if there was a green over there, they'd have moved by now. They'd have had enough car park over there, and we'd be paying an absolute fortune out. Although we're insured, so we can park there if you like. Right. Come on, a couple more. Very interesting, this. Very interesting. I'm enjoying this. I hope you are, guys. It's, I think it's probably, if I can catch this ball up, something probably quite relatable that you all think and do. Um, and it totally does depend what tape they use in the shop you go to. I mean, like I said, I know people have done this in the past with duct tape, with tape, but... This is like, I'm going to talk through the tape a little bit more because that's what this video is about. It is so thick. I mean, you can see there, you can't even see me there, can you? It's that thick. Um, I'll take that off, off now. And I honestly don't know why we use it here at Huddersfield. I mean, I don't know if it's Gazza's thing or if we really just don't want to mark the faces up. Of what I'm seeing so far, it's definitely not helping performance. The only thing I can think is it would hinder it, but I might be wrong. That was a necky, horrible one. It's still gone too, sir. Four left! I'm sick of hitting it left. Ah! Stop hitting it left! Aim right, I think. That's absolutely nailed, and it's coming back that way. See, that's if I don't mind hitting it like that, look at that come back. Movement on that's incredible. 272 carry. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go... We'll carry on with the tape. In fact, no, we won't be lazy. We'll take the tape off because we're just about halfway. So we'll take that off there. Lovely. Um, we'll put it there so you can't see anything. No, we'll not. We'll, we'll peel. That's, you've, I've done that joke already. I'm sorry. Um, and then we'll put tape back on after we've changed and gone non-tape again. What a time to be alive. Hopefully we can stop hitting it. Left, uh, you see the thing is now we're halfway through a test and I do get this quite a lot. I don't want to change my mechanics because then it makes the test totally invalid. So we'll just keep hitting it like we are. I think that's so good. 275 carry. <laughs> oh dear. Usually I can, if I stand on it, I can get it a bit further as you saw with the, uh, the Dustin Johnson video, still left. There we go, 282 carry, that is... Oh, the launch on that is just beautiful. Obviously, this is a no-tape shot. Uh, really caught that. And that's what these tees can do, actually. A little side note. Another video that I've got coming, and my biggest video was which tee peg should you use. And I found out that it was this one, actually, the orange one. 
I do tee the ball quite high out on the course, but I use a wooden tee. Obviously for this mega scientific review, um, I wanted something that was going to be mega consistent, but have my launch characteristics changed over the last 18 months? And should I maybe use pink or white? I mean, that would say otherwise, but come on, what we got? Three more, and then we'll put the tape back on. Probably the, the best shape of the day, a little bit healy. Tee gone. Swinging, very, you know, I think I actually play quite well today on the course. Do you ever get that feeling where it's not good, but it's consistent? There we go. <laughs> oh, can I just take those words back? Do you ever get that feeling where it's not good, but it's consistent? Wow. Wow. It's not good, but it's consistent. Right, last shot with no magic tape. Then we'll go obviously back to magic tape. Come on, let's just have a nice shot to finish on, please. Well, that was obviously too much task for, wasn't it? Let's get the tape back on. So because we care that much about the environment, we're gonna go back with the same tape. I'll put it in the same place here. And that'll just help us stick that back on there. If you came into the shop, we would give you fresh tape, by the way. This isn't a salesman's ploy, but look at that. He's done this before. The lad has done this before. Imagine if after all this, there's absolutely zero difference. I would expect there to be a difference just in my, obviously, um, consistency. You know, I think I actually play quite well today on the course. Do you ever get that feeling where it's not good, but it's consistent? But uh, if, there's, if there's like a, a yard difference and 200 spin difference, it's going to be me that it's not going to... Or is it? I don't know. Anyway. It's another one that is coming, it's definitely coming out lower with the tape. It can't not be, it's, it's definitely... I mean, it's gone left again, but we'll not talk about that. Don't tell your mates, guys. If anyone's not watched this and they say, oh, how did he get on with it? Hit it really good, hit it straight. Didn't hit any left at all. Three left. Oh, that's the best of it all. That's the best of it all year. Oh, 281 carry, wonderful. Wonderful. And that one would have been on the fairway as well, can we just say? So, yeah, it's a long time since I've hit 20 drives in a row, I will say. Feel yourselves lucky here. No. No! Last shot. Tape on there. That was horrendous, that last one. Let's have a good one to finish. No. Right, guys, that is 10 shots hit with the magic tape on and the magic tape off. See what I did there? Let's see what the differences are. Let's see if there's any difference in distance, any difference in spin, any, I mean, the, the dispersion's like, I can only apologize for that really today, but we're not filming it again. Cause my, yeah, I, don't, I haven't got 20 shots in me again. Let's take a look at the differences and we'll report back here. Right guys, so dispersion with the standard drive, the tailor-made sim. Um, I mean, I can't really say much about that, can I? That's just, yeah, I've, I've sort of lashed at them and apart from, I mean, that, that's obviously the, the yeah, we'll, we'll not talk about that too much. Let's come, the good news is uh, the tape, magic tape is pretty much just as bad. More curvature there, definitely. And if we are gonna take anything from this, uh, I think they're consistently lower, personally, um, we'll not. The distances were okay, so what about, so the numbers which we all came to see, standard as one by two yards, which I sort of expected, but again, then we said about the yardages, I, I don't see it, like a two yards is two yards, it's total distance is one yard, it's just absolutely nothing at all. You can see club speed 107 to 109 pretty much there, uh, resulting in actually a higher ball speed without the tape as to with the tape. So actually more club head speed with the tape produced less club head speed, albeit by 0.2. So it, smash factors down as well, 0.46 as opposed to 4.9 spins down by 180. So is the magic tape? It's kind of as I thought, and I know all joking aside, I've hit it terribly today and I have hit it terribly. And I mean, um, and I do apologize for that, but actually for the sake of this test, I think it's probably better that I've hit it badly because you can then see that around the kind of, 
The point I'm trying to get at, I suppose, is tall pros aren't going to go and try clubs with tape on, are they, in a pro shop? They're not going to do it. They're the really consistent ones. Even the real low handicap guys are probably aren't. They're probably going and getting fitted and then getting the club sent to them. But the guys who walk into the pro shop who want to try them off the rack, you're going to be trying these, aren't you? You're going to be testing them with that. And I, I mean, I've seen it. I've looked at it there. I've tested it. One yard in it, two yards in it, a hundred revs in it, a little bit less ball speed in it. Imagine if after all this, there's absolutely zero difference. I would expect there to be a difference, but uh, if, there's, if there's like a, a yard difference and 200 spin difference, it's gonna be me that it's not gonna, or is it? I don't know. So if it is affecting it, it's probably affecting it negatively, but positively up here because you've not bought it yet. So when you've bought it and the magic tape comes off, it's not the magic tape coming off, it's your, it's now mine, I've paid for it, it's mine, it's got to perform, it's got to perform better than my old one. The honeymoon period is over, so to say. Um, that's my interpretation of it, guys. If you know different, if you've tried different tapes, if you've tried masking tape, seller tape, parcel tape, then let me know. Apart from that, guys, leave us a like if you enjoyed that. Hit those comments below, what do you think? Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Really enjoyed that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Hope you're all staying safe. And apart from that, I really look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye. Swinging very, you know, I think I actually play quite well today on the course. Do you ever get that feeling where it's not good, but it's consistent? There we go. <laughs> oh, can I just take those words back? Wow. Wow.